Hey everybody. Today we're gonna to talk brakes. Uh, I'm gonna take the brake caliper off. Um, I've got new pads or whatever. It's um, not the ultimate goal. The goal is gonna be um, taking the front tire off. I have to add air to my tire every couple of days. It's getting annoying. So I'm gonna take the uh, tire off first. We're gonna take the caliper off, the brake caliper. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The um, brake caliper. Okay, from 86 to 2001 are all the same. To 2000, sorry. 2001 and above, the brake caliper will not look like this one. So... This will be a video from 86 to 2000. Mine's a 93, if that matters. But the brake pads change in 2001 and the caliper changes. So I'll show you how to remove the caliper off the deal. Then I will uh, make another video on um, removing the wheel. So this will be caliper. Here we go. I'll get you set up. <clears throat> All right, so we got two bolts. One here, one here, that attaches the caliper to this bracket. They are... 12 millimeter. Okay. So, put your ratchet on there. Break it loose. Oh. Top one's 14. Oh, I didn't look at it. Shit, sorry. Okay, so bottom 12. Top one 14. So I have a handy dandy little gun here. Buzzes them right off once you get them broke loose. <clears throat> this is greased, so it will slide. You want this thing to move, not get um, gummed up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a paper towel and lay it down. So that it doesn't get all crappy like my floor is. <coughs> These uh, shop towels are pretty good. They work pretty good. All right, so one bolt out, top one. Bottom bolt out, okay. This is where it gets a little tricky. Cause there's an edge on this caliper you're gonna give it a little bit of a slide there and a wiggle and another slide all right so there we go we're out now i'm not going to but if you were to change brake pads at this point this is when you do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm not actually gonna do it. <clears throat> this right here is an eight millimeter. You'll remove this bolt. This plate will slide up. See the holes? 
these two silver pins will come out and your brake pads will come out. To press them, the pistons in to put new brake pads, you're going to need to loosen this bleeder valve when you get ready to push the pistons in. So, I'm not going to do that, like I say. <clears throat> I have this, is what I use. It is a snap on. And you can see that it's all the way together. You flip this deal. Once your pads are removed, you stick this in there. You ratchet it. As you can see it's opening. And when you're doing this, you've got the bleeder open. Spread it apart till it stops. Close the bleeder. Put your pads in there. Put your pins in and replace this or put this plate back on with this screw. I use a little blue Loctite on that. So that should get you to being able to change brake pads on a Honda Helix from 86 to 2000. Now, I can't make a video on 2001 because I don't have one. So, shout out to anybody that's got a 2001 and above. Make a video. Show us all how it goes. But, there's your rubber piece right there. That's where that slide goes. Where this one. So, it will slide back and forth. So, that is... Um, Take removing the caliper and putting brakes on on uh, Honda Helix. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. I've got 100 subscribers. I'm pretty excited. I am really excited. So let's try for two. <laughs> let's try for 200. 150 even. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Peace out.